Here's a slightly more advanced use of tab stops. So rather than using tab, 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 tab all the way across, you can only, you can make it so that you only hit tab once. And here you can see these tabs. You can delete tabs by pulling them off, undo, or you can go to format tabs and you can clear all. You'll notice that I'm only affecting the paragraphs that I've highlighted. These ones are unaffected because they're not selected. So to set the tab stops, I can click here and click here. So I can move the tabs visually. It's not quite as accurate. But to do more advanced tab work, you need to go to tabs. And for the four and a half ones, I'm gonna use center. So you can see the difference between center and left. I can also make a right tab, which you've seen before but this is in columns. So you can see how that affects that one. And you can see the difference with center. So choose this tab stop that you want, left, right, or center, and select the number of paragraphs that you want it to affect. And you can delete by dragging them off. You can also delete using the tabs menu and clearing all. Remember when you enter something here and here, you need to press set. And that ends this quick lesson.